Hello, Akit Angels! This is Teacher Anna, and welcome to another Matinic episode. Today, we will learn about how to find the measurement of the angles formed by secants and tangents. Are you ready? But before we start, kindly prepare yourself learning module, your pen, and paper to write your solutions and answers as we progress with our discussion. Also, look for a place in your home where you feel comfortable and safe. And most importantly, prepare yourself to watch and listen carefully. This episode is just a continuation for week 5 to 6 lessons. So still, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to illustrate secants, tangents, segments, and sectors of a circle, Proves theorems on secants, tangents, and segments. So, how do we find the measure of angles formed by secants and tangents? Let's look at number one. A secant and a tangent intersecting on the circle. In the given figure, the secant and tangent intersect at point A. And because of that, they form two angles the angle 1 and angle 2. So how do we determine their measurement? As you notice, each angle form intercepted a certain arc. Just like the formula for inscribed angle, we have half the measurement of the intercepted arc. So, for angle 1, our formula is half the measure of arc ACB because angle 1 intercepts arc ACB. For angle 2, we have half the measure of arc AB. Number 2. A secant and a tangent intersecting outside the circle. In the given figure, angle 1 is formed outside the circle after a secant and a tangent intersect. Like the previous one, our formula should be half the measure of its intercepted arc. But wait! We see two intercepted arcs, the arc BC and arc AC. What to do then? If the angle is formed outside the circle, we subtract the two intercepted arcs before we solve for its half. So, for the given example, our formula is measurement of arc BC minus the measurement of arc AC then multiply the difference to one half. Number three, two tangents intersecting outside the circle. Just like in number two, the angle is formed outside and we have two intercepted arcs. So we subtract the two arcs first then we multiply the difference to one half. For this example, our formula is angle 2 is equal to 1 half multiplied to the difference of the measure of arc ABC and arc AC. Now, let's find out how do we determine the measure of angles formed by two secants. Number 1. Two secants intersecting on the circle. It is basically an inscribed angle. Therefore, our formula is half the measure of its intercepted arc. In the given example, the intercepted arc is arc LN, so we take half of its measure. Number 2. Two secants intersecting inside the circle. In this one, we take the arc intercepted by the angle and its opposite angle. Adding the two arcs and getting half of its measure is our formula. For the given example, angle 1 intercepts arc CD and the opposite of arc CD is arc AB. We add the two arcs first then multiply the sum to one half. Number 3. Two secants intersecting outside the circle. Its formula is like those angles formed outside the circle after a secant and a tangent intercept or both tangents intercept. We subtract the two intercepted arcs before we multiplied it to one half. 
in the given example. To get the measure of angle 3, our formula is 1 half multiplied to the difference of the measure of arc XY and arc WZ. In this lesson, you don't need to memorize all the formulas, just understand its concept. Remember, if the angle is formed on the circle, we just get half of the measure of its intercepted arc. And if the angle is formed outside, we subtract the two intercepted arcs first, then multiply the difference to one half. Lastly, if the angle is formed inside, we add the measurement of the arc intercepted by the angle and its opposite arc, then we multiply the sum to one half. Again, our keyword is on means directly multiplied to one half, outside subtract first, inside add first. Let us now apply what you have learned by answering the given example. Line ZY is tangent at circle O at point D. And the measurement of arc AD is equal to 90 degrees. Arc DC is equal to 50 degrees. Arc CB is equal to 80 degrees. Find the measurement of angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3. Number 1. Measurement of Angle 1 As you can see in the given figure, Angle 1 is formed outside the circle and we have two intercepted arcs, the arc AD and arc DC. If that is the case, if Angle 1 is formed outside the circle, we subtract the two intercepted arcs. So our formula is 1 half multiplied to the measurement of arc AD minus arc DC. The value of arc AD is equal to 90 degrees and arc DC is equal to 50 degrees. 90 minus 50 is equal to 40 degrees and 40 degrees multiplied to 1 half is equal to 20 degrees. Therefore, the measurement of angle 1 is 20 degrees. Number 2. The measurement of angle 2. As we can see in the given figure, the angle 2 is formed on the circle and we only have one intercepted arc. So we directly multiplied the intercepted arc to one half. 1 half multiplied to arc BCD. Arc BCD is composed of arc DC and arc CB. So we add the two first before we multiply it to 1 half. The measurement of arc DC is equal to 50 degrees. And the measurement of arc CB is equal to 80 degrees. Then we add the 2 to get the measurement of arc BCD. 50 plus 80 is equal to 130 degrees. Then 130 degrees multiplied to 1 half is equal to 65 degrees. Therefore, the measurement of angle 2 is equal to 65 degrees. Number 3, the measurement of angle 3. As we can see in the given figure, angle 3 is formed inside the circle. Therefore, we will add the measurement of its intercepted arc and the measurement of the opposite arc. The intercepted arc is arc AB while the opposite arc is arc DC. So after adding them, we will take half of its measure. But the measurement of arc AB is unknown, so we need to get it first before we can solve for the measurement of angle 3. 
all the measurement of the arcs are given except arc AB, we can easily determine it as the total measurement of the circle is 360 degrees. So we just need to add all the given measurement of arcs then subtract it to 360 degrees. Therefore, the measurement of arc AB is equal to 140 degrees. So, following the formula, we just substitute the given values of arc AB and arc DC. We have 140 degrees plus 50 degrees. 140 degrees plus 50 degrees is equal to 190 degrees. Then, we take half of its measure. We have 95 degrees. Therefore, the measurement of angle 3 is 95 degrees. And that's how we find the measurement of the angles formed by secants and tangents. Dear acute angels, you did great in watching and listening. I hope you are now confident to answer activities that are related to it. Again, this is Teacher Anna and see you on another Matinic episode.